Uh, calculus class, looking at section 4.8, Newton's method. Now this isn't a heavily regarded um, thing that um, is tested, uh, but this is nice to know and kind of seeing the application of calculus and where it comes about. So Newton's method kind of talks about an approximation for roots of functions. Okay, so we have many functions where we want to try to see where do we have those x-intercepts? Where are our zeros? That was one of our main points on our graphing. And how do we find that? How do we approximate it? So we've had many theorems on certain problems on how to find, but never a true, uh, precise way that works every single time. So Newton's method is an approximation that works towards this. It kind of uses calculus to help out. Um, so if we look at Newton's method for approximating um, roots. Now notice I have a little note up here. It tells us zero. So it tells us when does this function equal zero. So we'll choose an initial approximation, x naught, as close to a root as possible. So what we do is we start picking real numbers and we start seeing where are these numbers close to zero. So we have a function we plug one in, we plug two in, we plug three in, we plug four in, and we see that oh around four we're starting to get close, we're really close to zero. So we start there. Once we find this, we have this formula of x sub n plus 1 equals x sub n minus f of x sub n over the derivative of f of x sub n. Once again, given that our derivative here does not equal 0. Uh, and, and we'll simplify this, and then what we'll do is we'll keep plugging values in and keep going and going and going with it, kind of in a loop style. Uh, until n calculations terminate and the conditions must be met. So here just kind of briefly looking at an example that they give us. They talk about x cubed minus 5x plus 1 and, and they tell us negative 3, 1, and 4 are some initial approximations. So what we do is we have our initial function uh, and then we have the derivative of that function. Um, then what we do is we simplify it so we'll multiply this here um, add a subtract, I guess it would distribute the negative through, simplify this down to get this function right here. Then what we do is we start plugging in a value. So we'll start plugging in that negative 3. We see we get a negative 2.5. Then we'll come back and plug in the negative 2.5. We get this. Then we'll come back. And what you see over here, they kind of have the table lined out for us. So, sorry about that. Um, is that we plug in negative 2.5, we get negative 2.345. We plug this in, we get negative 2.33. We plug negative 2.33, 0, 0. And we see that, hey, we get this approximation right here. So we're seeing that these n values, if we were to start at 1, we would get negative 0.5. Then 2.9, then 2 points. So what happens is, is Newton's method really starts looking at the initial curve of our graph at our points. Um, kind of down here they got some graphing aspects here and, and basically we kind of start alternating and, and using almost that intermediate value theorem or to, to approximately we go above we go below and, and then we get back to where we need to be at for our value as we keep going closer and closer we start seeing where these values are happening and once again we have this overall curve uh, so I guess that negative 3 was right here uh, and we see that we start taking a little bit more of a direct line approach towards our values um, as we go. Now, is this something you're going to want to use for every problem? Uh, no. Okay. The, the, there are pitfalls to this. So this is a good initial approximation. Uh, once again, you got to remember when Newton was alive and used this, um, the, this was way before calculators, way before graphing capabilities. Um, so this is more of the basics and once again when Newton was working on calculus way back then this is one of the biggest things that was he brought to calculus in here. Um, so in the next part we'll actually work through a couple examples. Do realize that this is a lot of calculator work and just organization as we go through because basically we'll be coming and we'll just be creating this table based off of our equations. Uh, and just bring in an answer in.